Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba here on the morning of Thursday, June 25th, 2020. And wanted to do my final editorial on the Brooks case. So here we are on Thursday. Mr. Brooks has been laid to rest. And what have the FN Americans learned? Absolutely nothing. They're still out there with their guns in hand, saying that the whites are not allowed in the area of the Windies where he got shot. I don't see any of their so-called people that speak for them saying, we have to reform the way our police works. I don't see any. All I hear is, defund the police or eliminate the police. Yeah, so that way you can go murder people. Here in Atlanta especially, with the mayor, and she doesn't seem to understand. From the death of Mr. Aubrey in February to the death of Mr. Brooks this month, that's two deaths by white police, by white people, on black people. Black on white deaths, and I counted them, there was over 40, and I lost count. 40 in February till now. Must have been over 50. That's counting the ones that the police, I mean, that the television stations have put every night at 6 p.m. And that's all I'm using is a 6 p.m. broadcast on uh, Channel 46 here locally. 40, and I lost count. That's black on black mm. violence, murders, murders. That doesn't take into account assaults, that doesn't take into account robberies. That's murders. 40. Really? And, and you guys are lecturing the whites on what to do? Come on. If you guys want to do something, <clears throat> I told you how to do it, but you guys won't do that because you got to give up being black, and the whites have to give up being white because you have to be one culture, only one. <clears throat> and you don't want to do that. You want to continue your mayhem, your occupying zones, you're doing a disservice to your kind or pigmentation or whatever you want to call yourselves. Don't you know that the more you do that, the more hatred you get on the other side? And the more Jim Crow laws you have to do when this country disintegrates because you guys want your faction. And that's all you are, a faction. The whites are a faction. The Asians are a faction. When are you going to understand that you got to get rid of factions? This country was formed on an Ely, uh, a lousy province that all people are welcome here and they can live their lives as they want. No, they can't. They can't worship as they want. They can't live their lives as they want. Because if you do this, this is the result. And you have only you to blame. You blacks, you whites, and everybody of you who were in the government and passed laws. And there was a lot of you black people that passed laws too in the Congress. Congressman Lewis, for one, he passed a lot of laws that today he's probably saying, God, I didn't want to mean to pass that law. Right, Congressman Lewis? And all those senators that are in the Senate, as in uh, Harris, and all the other senators? You even had Asian senators. Esai Hayakawa, for one. Daniel Inouye from Hawaii. Tulsi Gabbard's in the Congress. Hawaiian or Samoan. So you see, all of you have factions. I haven't seen a single person of you that looked at the Constitution of the United States and said, we have something flawed here, let's fix it. So what is it going to take? More of the stuff that you're doing, African Americans, is going to drive more uh, Jim Crow laws against you coming up. And trust me, I know your history, so I know that's what's coming. So this is what you reap, and you're going to see what you sow later. This is your favorite alien and bye-bye. Good day.